right, we are headed to the arena. I have a speech in front of about 15,000 people. So you can imagine how I'm feeling with butterflies and nervousness. Some people think that I don't because I speak so much or perform so much, but those nerves just really never go away. And with me is Leroy Dixon, gold medalist, Olympic champion, seventh fastest man ever recorded. And um, there's plenty of days that Leroy had to make his way to the stadium, to the arena, to the meet since the time he was eight, nine years old, all the way up to the Olympics. And um, I'm, always, I'm always kind of astonished thinking one day after many, many years of doing this, how I, someday maybe I'll get over this. Like I'll never be, you know, nervous. Like I'll just be handled. I have so much experience and I'll just do a, a good job and I won't have to worry about anything. But that just hasn't happened ever to me. And um, I was wondering, Leroy, has it, has, have you ever had that feeling? Like, you know, you're just like, are you ever gonna get over this, this drive, this impending competitive thing to perform well? Do you think you ever get over that? I don't think, I don't think that's human nature. I think it's human nature to always want to do well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, no matter what it is. Uh, no matter if it's being in a relationship or working or whatever it is, I just think that we're human beings are driven by doing better than what they last did. So yeah. I just think that, that the moment you feel that is when it's probably over. You probably shouldn't be doing that thing that you're doing. Yeah. You that, lose that. Yeah. So I know when it came to track and field, I, once I stopped caring of having that nervous feeling or that feeling like it's something big is going to happen, that's when I knew it was time to finish, time to be done. So. Yeah. Yeah, and did you have that one day? You had that feeling one day? Yeah, but it was more in, in the house, more so than oh, on the way. Got it. It was in the house where I just felt like I, I don't care anymore. Yeah, got it. Yeah, so it was, I think it was just, I just had understood what I was doing it for at that point. Yeah, that's similar to a guy that I used to play in the NFL with, a uh, great player, but he would always throw up before the games. Mm. He'd be sick as a dog. And he was so good and played for so long. And then one day, he didn't throw up. And he goes, I think it's time to hang him up. <laughs> <laughs> like he lost yeah, that, that passion. Yeah, that whatever that jet fuel is that those nerves give you. Um, what would you say to people who because uh, people always say to me, how do you do it? Because I, I'm trying to get rid of that nervousness. I'm trying to get rid of that uh, anxiety. Uh, what would you say to them? I would say stop trying to get rid of it. Yeah. And just roll with it. Accept it. Yeah. And just use it to your advantage. Use it. If the nervousness makes you sweaty or jittery or whatever the case may be, I think it's over. They let it, they let it control them instead of just accepting it and just kind of ease into it. Yeah. They're trying to do something about it is why it's affecting them. Right. And then, yeah. then your mind starts playing tricks on you and then it's just... <laughs> and, you're, and you're not going to win any gold medal. <laughs> and then there's no gold medal. So use your nerves as jet fuel so you can win some gold medals, okay? Yeah, All right. Here's what I want you to do next. I want you to go over to BoEason.com and I want you to download my free storytelling guide. And in there are all kinds of exercises to get you up on your feet, start developing and telling your story. You're also gonna be the first to find out when a new video comes out because the hardest thing about being the best and continuing to be the best is you have to be reminded of what is current. So you're gonna be the first to know. We're gonna keep you accountable. Go over to BoEason.com, continue to be the best.